Okay, so just to better facilitate this, I brought in a little uh, bench here, and I've got the motor up on it, uh, facing down. I've got the shaft just going down to the gap there. And I've gone ahead and I've put a tipex mark here, just between the plate and the frame. This part of the frame seems to have a continuous uh, held as well along there. And I've gone ahead as well and I took out the brushes, just uh, to keep them safe. Quite serious brushes. And uh, there's a coat on there, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get some spares for that. Okay, so what I've also had to do, uh, because the way the cables are brought in and out of this particular machine, uh, I had to disconnect an armature cable here from this brush box here. Okay, see that guy in there, and that's the that's the hot one, and uh, I think it's round the back here. I disconnected the negative. Where's it gone on me? Yeah, there we go there, so those two have now been pulled. So that should leave the armature stroke comment plate here free to pull off. So I'm going to go ahead and just crack off these studs and uh, take it from there. So I have noticed as well that, uh, you see it too well in there, but the comb does have a kind of a, just the, the back end of the comb. Can't see it too well there. I'll film it when I have it out, but there is a kind of an um, insulating varnish on the actual. Yeah, there you go. Kind of an insulating varnish on there, so that's a good sign, I think, as well. Okay, well, turns out uh, that I went at this the wrong way. Um, I just took out the four, or sorry, the uh, six bolts of it. Yeah, I took out the six bolts here, and I just gave it a little tap with a hammer and chisel, and the plate came off uh, no problem at all. Came up off the outside of this bearing here. Didn't have any kind of problems, and uh, here we have the guts. There's a bit of brush dust there. I can blow that out with some compressed air and uh, you can see here this is a pure series motor got our four holes there to them very uh, heavy copper bars here on each pole and uh, looks like yeah it looks like the uh, there's you can see there A on that pole and there's A on that pole there and presumably it's got to be a B or something on this one or something like that oh, that, one, that says A bar, oh, okay so they were being smart so there's A and A bar now as I was trying to show earlier the kind of a goo on the con there is quite a bit of brush dust around so I'll blow that out with some compressed air the armature itself is still spinning freely on the drive end um, bearing there. So I don't think I need to change these these uh, these bearings. They seem to be in good order. Um, as I say, it's a completely different design to the one I have in the in the car. So uh, just looking, it's just not sure what this. Uh, Oh, that's obviously a balancing kind of a thing, I'd say, isn't it? They had to balance the armature. That's what those little uh, holes there are for, I would imagine. Uh, okay, so... Um, not too bad. Uh, looks like it's well built. I'm not seeing any kind of born marks on any of the com bars there, so... Think of any major problems there. So anyway, uh, this is our common plate, and it's got the bus carrier, and they've got this A A scenario here again on it. 
I've got my Tipex mark anyway, so uh, can't go wrong there. At least I hope not. <laughs> my Tipex mark on me. There we go. There's my Tipex mark, so I can always uh, I can get that back where it's supposed to be. And uh, so our motor now will be spinning this away. This is uh, viewed from the com end. So I've got to come up with a procedure now to make the brushes, to advance them. I've got to bring them this way against the, if that's spinning that way, I've got to bring the brushes this way against the direction of rotation. So uh, I was trying to understand all this advancing thing as well. I'm trying to go through some of the theory on it. Um, so we've got a four pole set up here so there's going to be uh, what we're trying to do is that the brushes let me try to understand this better I'm not going to make a fool of myself here well I've already done that I guess but uh, as I would say I'm not going to compound the problem so um, brush plate here is secured with four studs so I can take those guys out and I can either slot these holes here this is a plastic type things. I'm going to clean this up. Um, I'm going to clean that up and uh, so I'll just drill another hole beside them. It centers on here so I can't go wrong. Um, these guys just keep it from spinning. Keep it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and go, but interestingly um, the brushes are wired like this. Now this is where I took off one of the armature power cables from that one. And that obviously is fed power to this holder and this holder. So these guys are positives here. Two opposites. And uh, that's as well where I took off the other one. So that's a negative. So that says to me then, what does that say? that? These guys are positive and these guys are negative. So gotta go back to my um, motor theory again I think. But the basic principle of this whole advanced thing uh, as I under under understand it um, is that the field uh, between the between the poles gets dragged as the as the uh, as the armature spins and it causes a kind of a swirly effect in here and that means that the brushes uh, are not hitting the point that they should be hitting because the field gets pulled from where it should be and uh, that causes arcing and there's a second uh, thing as well here whereby and it gets it uh, self inductance uh, whereby if the because the brushes hang on I'll grab one here um, when the brushes contact the armature as you can see here they're bridging uh, I think the procedure is two and a half slots or sorry two and a half uh, two and a half bars, so that one's actually bridging almost three bars there as you can see. My hand is shaking here, my favorite one kind of. Ah, too much drugs. Anyway, um, so what happens is I think that the inductive kick as each one is commutated like this causes a spark to occur between adjacent um, adjacent bars here. I'm sure there's people will tell me whether I've got this incorrect or not. And uh, our advancing on that also helps to take care of that particular issue. So I'm going to shut up now and uh, I'm going to have a play with this and uh, I don't think I need to extract the the armature. Uh, I could if I so wished but uh, I'm not going to tempt fate. So I'll come back when I've got a bit more done in terms of the brush advancing and uh, we'll see you then.